true is that lost your fame. Fame is a son of a bitch. You gotta be careful with that shit. Because there's some really nasty shit that goes on with it. Anyways, let's start this shit. <laughs> Like every other part of the entertainment business, there are bound to be YouTubers that become big very quickly. But of course, on the downside, there will be other channels that fall off the map almost completely. So today, I want to talk about five YouTube channels that lost their fame, still famous, though. even though they still make videos. When YouTube first became popular 10 years ago, it was a site filled with what well, was around the term viral disappear. videos. Or short still clips doing of crazy, stupid shit. funny, or memorable moments that were spread around like wildfire, since everyone had to see them. And a man by the name of Ray William Johnson figured out a way to make a show around these videos. In 2009, he started Equals 3, where in each video he would showcase viral videos from around the web and give so commentary along with jokes the about them. Still does. And as we all know, it was a huge hit, I watch and at stuff. one point becoming the biggest star on the entire site. He may not be of brilliant. Course, like most big channels, Ray's views but I like his stagnated, and it seemed as if he was sick of hosting the show. So in 2014, Ray William Johnson stepped down as host and was replaced by Robbie Motts. I love this guy. This guy was the shit. The show's fans happy. The New but girl. it wasn't it's until like, uh, she's trying. when yet another host she's was trying. for the gig, which is when things really went downhill. When Kaja Marin stepped in as the new host, people weren't pleased, with most finding her a terrible replacement. She's trying, guys. A huge she's trying. Dislikes. And since the channel has refused to replace her with someone more liked, within two months the amount of views an episode of Equals 3 receives has been cut in half. This just goes to show that if you Why don't not bring in PD happy, flow. They will leave. He did the Spanish equals three. He could do the English e equals three. Dave Days is a musician who began his YouTube career while in high school in 2007, creating song covers and parodies that gave him a rise in popularity. But he was most notable for an endless amount of videos based around Miley Cyrus. Wasn't After he high the last school, Dave moved to Los Angeles to continue Rebecca his Black career Saturday and came out video. achieving the title of most popular music That's channel the last on YouTube. Song. Back in the day, his music videos received massive amount of views, with the biggest hits sitting at 52 million. But in 2015, most of his new videos have trouble getting past 30,000. Well, Dave still seems to have a small but a bad thing trying to get over 30,000. He captured the success he had a lot of views. views off of Miley Cyrus, with many other song parody channels passing him out with more intricate productions. If you watch Call of Duty prank videos at I have no idea YouTube, who this is. the name Minnesota Burns probably rings a bell because his channel was the place to find young kids that Please say Flames on Fire is games, on this list. Getting trolled on Xbox Live. With this Flames channel getting over 2 million subscribers from these videos, it was surprising when Burnsy decided to leave it all behind. Mainly because he burned out and sitting in a room Go look up Flames on Fire. On Call of Duty that guy's destroyed the content social life is amazing. He once had. While he says he may return one day, in the meantime, third parties have been placing their pranks on the channel, with some only getting around 10,000 views, which is abysmal for a channel with 2 million subscribers. So even if he does decide to come back, sadly the damage will have already been done. Number two. For the oh, people who were not around when Fred. Fred was the king of YouTube, oh, consider God. yourself fortunate. You gotta give me a While I can sit here and explain what his channel was about, I'd rather just show you a clip from his YouTube no. show. No. Hi, it's Fred! Well, as you can see behind me, I kind of stole. Well, no, I didn't steal it. I mean, I kind of just, you know, temporarily borrowed it from Kevin. Because Kevin was this happy cool bike a few days ago when his family was gone and he left his bike outside. Goose. So, Shut I just, the fuck you know, up. taking it for a while. Fuck you. It seems ridiculous, no. but in 2009, Fred was the biggest channel on YouTube. He was so big. big. How was that possible? One million subscribers. My God. But this character's fame did not stop on the internet. No, he went on to star in three Nickelodeon. I'm still trying to figure out this shit. TV show that had the same brand of comedy that made him a star online. What universe are we living in? That Fred just seemed to movie. lose its popularity with Nickelodeon canceling a show. Then the character's creator Lucas sold the YouTube channel with the new owners yes. producing. So Oh, your YouTube that channel? sometimes don't even crack 20,000 views on a channel with 2.5 million for it, subscribers. Yeah. 
Xjaws was one of the original large gaming channels on YouTube, no with him being an extremely big figure in the Call of Duty community, with his channel gaining thousands upon thousands of subscribers of each month. If you weren't following Fuck, YouTubers in 2010, Let's Plays were quite different than they are now. He was Back such then you had people that became guy. very well known for a single game, whether it was Minecraft, and Counter Strike, and of course, yeah, let's make fun of people. And Xbox no, was I mean, one of the biggest, with most people recognizing his you name, know what I mean? if they weren't Not in the really. gaming scene. Unfortunately, the owner of the channel, Sam, wasn't able to keep it together, with him spending all his money on expensive cars, big houses, and of course, drugs, leading him to go broke and also quit uh, YouTube. When Sam came back in September of 2015, he wasn't able to pull in even a fraction of the views from before. To show how far he has fallen, in the height of his popularity, he was pulling in 18 million views a month, and now he's currently receiving 180,000. So what happened? Since X Jaws originally gained the fame, the idea of a channel focusing on one game has gone away for the most part. You only focused on one game. Driven, let's play channels taking over. Wow. So after all the drama no Sam has been a part of, his audience moved on, leaving him with the shell of his former channel. Well, there you have my picks for five YouTube channels that lost their fame. And if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to subscribe or even follow me on Twitter if you like, so I hopefully don't end up like the channels mentioned on this list. So anyway, until next time, I'll thanks subscribe for watching. This, guy. this guy's pretty good. He's very informative. As for other YouTubers that have lost their fame, I can only think of a few, like Flames on Fire, like I mentioned. He hasn't posted in two years, and every time you go on his channel, the discussion board is always asking that guy to come back. They're always saying, Flames, quit dying and come back. He only done, like, he's only done like 25 videos, and he has a massive fan base. Trust me, go to Flames on Fire's YouTube channel. That guy's shit is amazing. Another one I can think of is Will of DC. Ray William Johnson's former roommate. What can I say about this guy? Oh, where do I even begin? YouTube winners and losers? Fuck you, Will of DC. Treating this like, this ain't a game. This ain't a motherfucking game. Man, fuck you. Another one is like, fuck, what's it called? Ah, uh, choose my Pokemon guys. Uh, what's that mean? These guys that just did memes all the time, explaining what the hell they do. It was pretty funny. What's my meme? What's that meme? Something like that. Go check them out. And you'll miss them a lot. And again, fuck you, Will of DC. I gotta get back on this guy. Have you seen that Netflix video where it says, please subscribe? Where Will of DC says, like, if I can't do this anymore, there's no... Wait, no. If I can't do this anymore, if they don't pay me anymore, there's no point in doing this. I admit it. I get paid to do this because I'm partnered with Freedom. And I get paid by ads and stuff. Which is all fine and dandy. I like it. But if I happen to get my account disabled and I can't make money off this, I'll still do the shit. Because I like doing this stuff. A lot of people, when they first started YouTube, they did it just because they liked it. And then this motherfucker, a bunch of people say, like, oh, if they can't get paid doing this on YouTube, they're not going to do it anymore. Fuck you! What happened to doing it just because you like it? It was fun. It still is. Like I said, if I don't get paid for this and my account gets deactivated or some shit, and I can't get another one, I'll still make videos, because it's the fun thing to do. And I'm going on off, off a rant right now. I gotta stop. <laughs> Anyways, what guys, what YouTube people do you remember that lost their fame? And can Aja Steen be one of those people one day? Because I'm getting sick and tired of her. I don't watch her stuff, but her, god damn her channel. Her channel, wow. I gotta stop right now before I go on a fucking YouTube rant. Take it easy, guys. Humanoid freak out. Bye.